what's going on everybody it's guns for hire from you always win i got a special video here uh and i'm doing this live to show you i just installed uh the update the newest big update for call of duty world war ii there's a lot of fixes the first thing that I, before i get e even into those i want to show you this this is the new sort of layout you notice that there's an additional headquarters playlist it's not just before it was just this the the rank play public match and the rest of these here this has been added what you'll notice is that I'm actually not in headquarters. It's not running in the background. And I've been on here already and I was like, man, this is a little bit weird to go. And this is after you exit a game. So headquarters is actually not running in the background, which is a good thing. This is something that I pointed out long ago saying, why are you loading in 50 people plus your lobby? And no wonder there's issues. And they're like, oh, no, that's not the reason. It's, there's so many players. Nah, 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 Sledgehammer, you messed up. And clearly by segregating headquarters out of everything else and not running it in the background, that's you know, basically fixed optimization for it. So in order to go into headquarters, it's not just running perpetually in the background. So to go into it, you can either press your options button on your PlayStation 4, if you're on a PlayStation, to, to load it, or you actually have to hit headquarters and load it up. It's not just running in the background. You see this? And here we go. Now, the other thing that I noticed too, I'm not sure if you guys can even pick up on that. Maybe when I'm running here, maybe you'll see the difference compare this movement and the way everything looks to an actual gameplay because i'm going to go use a gameplay with the bar uh with primed and everything like that because they made an adjustment to the bar bar and the prime basic training ribbon but you notice it's a bit framey it's a bit choppy here this isn't smooth 60 frames gameplay is 60 frames and you can notice that i think they've reduced it maybe down to about 30 frames or so and maybe that's how they've optimized it with 50 people being in here I think that's maybe how they optimize uh, headquarters. The other thing though, as I said already, this doesn't auto load in the background. When you back out of a game, you actually have to select to go into headquarters. So it's not perpetually running in the background. I don't know what it's like in the middle of a, uh, you know, in between games. So I'm gonna test that out as well. So I'm gonna have a game, we're gonna go in and stay in the lobby. And then hopefully we'll see if this is actually running consistently in the background, which would still be, be an issue. It just seemed weird that you actually had to select it. Me, I don't care about headquarters. I really just, I just don't care. I don't care about people looking at other people doing that stuff. If you like it, that's cool. I'm not taking anything away from it. I just don't like it when features such as this impact actual gameplay because I buy the, you know, Call of Duty, I buy games to actually play the game, not to watch people open up these silly things. Oh my goodness, what? You got that? Little biscuit, or was that biscuit? Yep, yeah, biscuit. So anyway, let's go into it. Here's some of the uh, updates, actually, before I start the, uh, the, the newest, or the test, sorry, I'm all flabbergasted here. Map exploit fixes. So point to Hawk, you know, and all those douche nozzles, and if you're one of those people that are doing it, you suck. You're a horrible person for ruining it. You know what? The world's filled with enough crappy people. We come on to games to play and enjoy ourselves. We don't need more people ruining this. You know, this is our fantasy world. So anyway, those have been fixed. I'm sure other exploits will be found and hopefully they fix them. UI improvements, uh, fixes to issues with parties. So you know when you join up with your teammates and if they're hosting it, in between matches, you can't do anything. You can't look at your stats. You can't change your, your class setup. So that apparently has been fixed and hopefully we'll, I'll have to test that later because I'm not playing with anyone right now. Connectivity optimizations, well, again, I think they've done that by segregating HQ and reducing, even if it's running in the background, by reducing the frame rate in this area here, it might be actually helping it with uh, optimizations. And you know what, when you come in too, when you start a match and you're sitting there and you're loading in with everyone else and all of a sudden they're in before you or you're, you get in like 30 seconds into a search and destroy match and they still let you in. Those are connectivity uh, optimizations that need to be fixed and hopefully they have fixed them. Now they have adjusted the BAR, the bar, increased the recoil. So when you're aiming down, it should go up. I don't know by how much, but we're gonna test that out. They reduced the flinch reduction in the prime basic training. I don't know exactly what that means, it could, if they've reduced the flinch reduction, that means they've increased flinch for the uh, primed basic training. You know, the ribbon that you use and it's supposed to get rid of flinch. Maybe it was too perfect. Maybe there was zero flinch. Maybe they, they just increased it a little bit. Because if you reduce the flinch, flinch reduction, it's a double negative. You know what I mean? And they fixed the snaking exploit uh, while crouching and proning, which is good because people use that again. 
People use it to their advantage. It's a crappy thing. It's an exploit. It's basically cheating. Anytime you're giving yourself an unfair advantage, it's cheating. So I'm glad that they've uh, fixed that. And apparently there was a bug with smoke grenades. So they fixed that as well. There's other improvements. I don't have the full list here, but if I do find it, I'll put it in the, uh, in the description for you guys to read. Now they're also working and I don't think it's actually in, you know, activated yet. I think they're still testing it, but they're supposed to be reducing flinch across all weapons every single weapon and i know a lot of people are are complaining about flinch obviously you know to the point where that primed basic training ribbon is needed anyway that's it let's get into this i'm going to test out the bar and i'm going to see what the loading is like i want to see if headquarters actually loads in the background in between rounds and then i also want to see if i can get into a round right away from the starting lobby if there's any delay and, and keep in mind, my actual internet connection, I have about one gig down and 50 or 40 or 50 up with about a four millisecond ping to whatever my local servers are. So I have very, very fast internet. There should be no reason that I don't get into a match right away. Let's do this. All right, just a quick test before we hop into a match here. I've come into my testing area here with the BAR. This is just a stock BAR. All I've got is... Well, well, there, just the stock, nothing else, no basic, it doesn't really matter about Prime because it, I'd have to be shot to test that. But I want to see the, the recoil on here. So they've apparently increased the vertical recoil, so let's take a look at it. Yeah, it's a little bit, I mean, it's negligible, but let's, let's do another one and then I'll test it with uh, grip to see really what that recoil does. Let's see. What? Come on, dude, that is like without any grip. Let's try it again. You ready? Negligible. That's not a lot of... I mean, look at this. The inconsistency too, though. Like, I don't understand. Uh, I wouldn't... You know, two... It's like 50% of the time there's a bit of vertical recoil. That one there... Man, what the heck? All right, let's try it with grip. All right, this time I've got grip on it and only grip. So we're going to take a look at that. That You should drastically reduce the the recoil and most people use grip most people i know use grip on the bar anyway so let's take a look oh my goodness look at all that vertical recoil that they added hey eh? thank goodness they nerfed it it was op before what the grip look at that okay so i do stand corrected on that one but still all right, let's try that all right a little bit uh, are you guys noticing something that I'm noticing here? Do you notice that three of the four had vertical recoil with grip, whereas only two of the four without any grip at all had vertical and pretty much contained it almost in the same spread? I'm not sure if grip is actually broken on this. That's uh, a little bit alarming. All right, I'm going to be using this class here, which as soon as it loads in, uh, where's the connectivity thing? I got rapid fire grip and I'm using prime, so. I mean, I loaded in okay, but again, it's that, why are they sitting there? I'm still kind of concerned though about that grip versus no grip, you know? All right, let's load this up. Let's load this up. I mean, the grip seems to be doing its its job here. Uh oh, someone on the back here. Someone on the back. Where where are these guys? Where are these guys? Don't know where they went. This could be bad area there. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Ah! There we go. I got primed on, so I should have reduced flinch as well. We're just sort of testing it out here. Hopefully I get shot a few times. Well. Oh. Let's put that in there. Yeah, I love my Bettys. Why not? Okay, what do we got here? No, nope, nobody wants it. Whoa, flinch works. That primed. I don't know if they've actually reduced that. The flinch, or maybe they did reduce it because I got hit there and it was just beauty. Oh shoot, this guy's gonna be right here, isn't he? Wow, I know I've got. Oh no! I got slow. Uh, my sensitivity is really slow. I don't play on high because, well, my inaccuracy. 
I'm very inaccurate. Hi, friend. Oh, I guess we're spawning on the other side now. Yo, I need All right. ammo. Yo, I need ammo. Sorry, I can't help you. Oh, might as well call this in. I don't know. It seems still pretty beast mode. No, no, no. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. I want to go this way. Care package on the way. Oh. Is that guy still alive? I couldn't tell. Did I kill him or something? There we go. Are you coming in here? Are you going to jump down and surprise me? I don't know, man. Still seems pretty beast. I don't I don't see the uh, big change in this, uh, this weapon. You know what I mean? Oh, shoot! <laughs> Should have switched it up, but what are you going to do? All right, let's uh, nail this guy. There we go. Yeah, I don't know. BAR grip primed seems pretty easy. I know I could have uh, thrown on a whole lot of other stuff, but I wanted to sort of try and keep it as minimal as possible to see if it really does work. You know. Oh, shots, 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 shots. Go, go, go! All right, two guys are there. I'll swing around this side. Hmm. I don't know, man. Seems seems pretty beast. Oh yeah, the flint. Yeah, you know, the putting that primed on is. Other than that, I was injured, so it wouldn't really matter. Oh, 16 and three. Yeah, B A R, man. I don't know, B A R. Right, you know what I'm gonna do after this game though? I'm gonna do one last test, so stick with me. I'm gonna do that test uh, on the wall again a few more times to really... Ah, there was hardly any flinch on that, I gotta admit. Even though I got shot and killed, I didn't see too much like where my... Uh, my iron sights kicked up. So, maybe that maybe I misunderstood that. Maybe it's... Maybe it's even better now. Take heart. Ah, oh, I hate... Random grenades. Like, he was looking the other way. He's like, oh, whatever. Alright, let's go. Don't lose, fellas. I didn't come in here to lose. Yeah, I'm testing things out, but I still want to win. What about that? What about that? Okay. Anyone on the ground here? Damn. Ah, that was my bad. My bad. Hurry up. This one's almost over. I want to go and test some more people. Let's test this old BAR. See what it's, uh, they've really done to this thing. Increased vertical recoil. Mm, not really. Ah, oh, oh. Ah. I was like, I figured I was going to die from the last one. I was like, Betty, avenge me! Come on. Yeah, yeah. Where's that vertical? Oh. Are you gonna give me cover? No! Uh, run! Oh, we won. Well... I don't. I don't know. I think the. I think the primed uh, definitely is increasing. Hello. Look at this. Yeah. Finishing strong. <laughs> oh, I did get the double. Did I? <laughs> nice. All right. Let's go test that out again, though, because I'm curious. It didn't look pretty uh, promising. Oh yeah. So this is in between the the rounds here. I just finished. I just finished a game. It put me in here. It kicked me out. It throws me in another one. Leave party and enter headquarters. Yeah, they've totally segregated headquarters. You see this? So I just press the options button. So if you guys are on PlayStation, um, normally that's how you get into it, right? You just hit options and it it's it goes between the loading screen, you know, that menu screen and headquarters. You can just sort of running in the background. Whereas this now, it looks like when you hit it, it totally takes you out of the lobby and loads headquarters. 
So absolutely headquarters was, oh, look at that. It is absolutely framey in here. They definitely reduce it to optimize it. 50 people, lower frame rate for sure. But uh, yeah, it doesn't run in the background anymore. So what I said a long time ago, and I said this, I said HQ is causing the crashes, but Sledgehammer, of course, like, oh no, it's because of huge numbers. I'm not saying Sledgehammer is necessarily a liar, but I don't understand how they didn't think that this running in the background was causing problems. And now they obviously agree with that and have removed it from it. All right, we're gonna do our final test. Same thing, stock, nothing else on it, just the BAR. We're gonna do some shooting tests here because the last time it seemed like the stock was actually better than grip, which doesn't really make sense. And you can see we're kind of at a medium distance here, not close quarters, not long range. Mm, minimal recoil on that. Let's try this one here. A little bit. That seems more consistent than what we had before. And then there's that sort of close cluster again. There we go. So three out of the four, you know, again, I don't know. Let's take a look at the other one, though. That looks very similar to, like, grip. All right, now we're using the BAR with grip. So let's take a look at this pattern here. I'm trying to shoot in the, I'm always in the exact same position, by the way. There's no way that I can even change. And all I'm doing is pressing and holding. So now that is something I would expect from grip. You know what I mean? Right there. All right, now we're, we're starting to see a little bit more consistency. I was just concerned with that first shooting there we go. Maybe it was an anomaly. Who knows? Who knows? Yeah, grip bet definitely good. At least, at least from my opinion, based on those tests, the first ones I wasn't really sure. Uh, Prime definitely working for that uh, flinch reduction, though. I mean, I don't know if you guys could see that in there or could tell, but I could definitely tell. Even getting hit, there was almost no flinch on it. So that's that's good news because if you're going to use that. I mean, that's kind of what you want anyway, but this definitely is showing grip is still there. I don't see much vertical recoil though. Even without any grip on it, it was negligible. Negligible uh, vertical recoil. I don't even know if you really need grip, really, because that vertical recoil, if you aimed at the chest of someone and let it naturally, even if you weren't correcting it, which everyone usually does, you might even get a headshot. So it may be better just use rapid fire, extend mag, or rapid fire, and whatever you want to use. I don't know. I mean, grip gives good consistency, but I don't know if it's really worth it. What do you guys think? Put it in the comments below. What do you guys feel do you, from these results? From what you've seen in this video, do you think grip is worth it? Can you use? What would you suggest if you don't use grip?